Hi, I'm Caroline from NC Live. Today we're going to address some of the most common issues you might have when you're doing research at the library. Specifically, how you can use tools and databases to find, save, cite, and share electronic resources. You may be accessing your library's resources from different locations, and that can get a little confusing. But not to worry, we're here to help. So let's get started. This is a typical example of what you can expect to see when you log into your library website. Let's say you find a great article you want to reference. Hurrah! But now what can you do to save and use this article later? Look around the article to find tools to save, cite, and share this resource. If you want to save or download a resource, you should look for a button or icon that says Download PDF. This could appear to the right, left, or above the article. If this button doesn't appear, you can click Print or Export and create a PDF of the resource. You should be able to save these resources to your computer, but some databases also connect to cloud-based storage, so you can add resources directly to your Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive accounts. Ebooks can be a little more protected, so to download the e entire book, you will likely need to create user accounts and download ebook reader software. When you click download, the interface will walk you through what you need to do and let you know how long you have to read it. Now there are a few things you won't be able to download like streaming video and some eBooks. However, you can share or email those resources to yourself. Let's check that out next. Most resources offer an email option, and you should be able to use this tool to e email an entire resource or just part of a resource to whomever you choose. Okay, moving on. Now what if you need to properly cite the resource in a bibliography? While viewing the resource, click the Cite button and then choose which style you prefer. Copy and paste the citation into the bibliography or works cited page. Don't forget to double check to make sure everything is formatted correctly. You can also add citations to popular citation management tools like RefWorks, EasyBib, or Zotero. Finally, what if you just want to share the link to the resource? First, the link you see in the address bar on the browser is not stable. That is, it's generally going to stop working once you leave your session in the database. So to make sure you are sharing the correct link, look on the web page for a hyperlink icon. It may be listed on a separate tab in publication details. Look for a link that has your proxy prefix at the beginning of the link. You'll see two instances of HTTP or HTTPS. Without getting too in the weeds, some resources don't automatically add that proxy prefix to the front of the resource link. And in that case, your link won't work outside the library. You'll need to add the proxy prefix yourself in front of the link so it works everywhere. We always recommend testing the link before sending it out. Of course, if this is confusing or you have any questions, you can always contact us here at nclive.org slash contact. I hope you've enjoyed the basics of navigating e-resources. We'll see you next time.